staying a little hostile at the moment. This rusty hairpin is the only thing holding the shower door shut and stopping someone from seeing you naked. It was advertised as having a complimentary breakfast, which is uh, some peanut butter or some jam on a piece of sliced bread. Please note, you do have to serve yourself. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. I had to strip off the waistcoat and the leather jacket because it was just getting too crazy hot. I'm sorry guys. I got to have a look around Singapore to see some of the sights. Then it was time to go and meet Regine, who was another hero in Singapore doing awesome work. Regine showed me the McKinsey offices, where she's currently working in the heart of Singapore. This is true power. So my name is Regine. Um, I'm 21 years old this year, and I'm currently working as a business analyst at McKinsey and Company, which is what you see over here. So McKinsey is a company. Um, it's a consulting company and a professional services um, consulting firm that you know aims to really help uh, you know our clients, you know, grow their business, build their business, fix their business, and really create impact a very positive impact on businesses and the society around us. So not just businesses, but we work very closely with governments, with non-profits, the Global Shapers community in Singapore. Uh, it's an initiative by the World Economic Forum and I actually spearhead a few uh, projects over there. One of which is on women empowerment and the other of which is actually more about you know, training the younger youths and the, uh, and the population. And aside of that, I'm also involved in a lot of different um, interests uh, that I have. For example, acting, uh, doing a bit of uh, modeling work as well as well as um, you know, um, doing a bit of dancing and hanging out with my friends and playing video games and there's so many things I'm, I'm very passionate about and the thing I love about McKinsey is also that we have a very strong emphasis on diversity uh, and promote and, and how say, um, giving opportunities to people who from different backgrounds so that's what I really love and that's why I'm also participating in several initiatives within the company that focuses on you know, enhancing these values and these initiatives so yeah, I feel that it's a great place to be in and a good place for people to learn about the values that make them a good leader in the future. A leader that's really good as a person as well. Then somehow we ended up going in a car to the other side of Singapore to a luxury beach resort. We're trying to find a meetup of change makers in Singapore, but they are proving difficult to locate. Even though I was meant to be at the Singapore airport to fly out in less than an hour. So my name is John Hesler, I have a company called Napkin Group, and we invest in startups. Uh, very, very early stage, so high risk. Anyone out there looks for, who's looking for investment, give us a shout. Anything from to 10,000 pounds, that is, up to a few hundred thousand. I work for the, in this very moment, holding. It's a holding company. You know, with that ability to provide credit to somebody who could not have it before. That's the most rewarding about it to give a chance somebody, let's say you have a young guy has a, having a family in Indonesia and you want to go to work, so you can give him motorbike, you can give him credit to buy a motorbike, to go to work. I inspired making a uh, internet free for the people, where because Singapore is having costliest telecom, if you compare with uh, their country. Oh, and you enjoying Singapore? Little bit, little bit not, everything is uh, so much having conservative things and restrictions are so much. That tradition and culture is like there, there is no may, may not. There is only can, cannot. No space for having different thoughts. If you explain the can, it means you have power to do. You cannot means you do not have power to. There is no try. No try. <laughs> Even people at the Marina Bay, there is a door was one door was closed, so nobody dared to open second closed door. What we think? Oh, there's so much etiquettes. One is coming, one is going. One is coming, one is going. But bro, there is a second door. Just pull it. Cannot. If somebody have closed the door. Someone cannot open it. So my startup name is called Elixir. So have you watched Iron Man before? Yes. Yes. So we do Jarvis, but in real life and on your laptop. So it's a very intelligent 3D interface that actually conducts um, visualization, predictive analytics, and automation for every company's IT infrastructure. And anything else you want to add now that we're at the end of our adventure? <laughs> yeah, I'm not so happy about like you know it's very hot here. You know, I don't like. I usually don't like going to the beach. So, but going for the beach meetup was a good idea. So it's a great experience. Thanks so much for showing me around. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Luckily, I made it to the airport just in time, and then I was flying away from Singapore and onto new adventures in Europe.